In this video, we are going to study about multiplicative inverse, one of the important topic in cryptography exam. So make sure you are watching the lesson completely. To understand multiplicative inverse, you should know what is Euclidean algorithm and what is extended Euclidean algorithm. And these two topics I have already covered in my previous video. So I will recommend first watch my previous video and then come to this video. Okay. So let us take the example. Example is find find multiplicative inverse of 11 in Z subscript 26. So this is the exam question and let us see how to solve this question. So step number one is creating table. The step number one is same in Euclidean algorithm, extended Euclidean algorithm and also in multiplicative inverse. Okay, create the table. So in the table we have uh, multiple columns. The first four columns remain same which is Q, R1, R2, R and now comes the rest column. In multiplicative inverse we have the rest column as T1, T2 and T. Okay. And you know the assumptions right. In extended Euclidean algorithm we have studied that we have to assume T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 1 always. So T1 is equal to 0, T2 is equal to 1. What about R1 and R2? R1 is, what is R1? R1 is the highest uh, uh, or you can say the greatest value among the two numbers. So 11 and 26. Which one is the greatest? 26. So R1 would be 26 and R2 would be 11. Now you have to do the division part when you divide 26 by 11. So 11 twos are 22 subtraction so answer is 4 the quotient part is 2 the remainder part is 4 so quotient is 2 remainder is 4 and how to find this t it's simple you have to use the equation that's why i always say please watch my previous videos to get the basics because i start from basics and then i take you to the advanced concept okay so from the basics you can say the equation was t is equal to t1 minus t2 into q okay. you know the value of t1 you know the value of t2 and also you have q now okay the value of q is 2 so do the substitution 0 minus 1 into 2 answer is minus 2 okay so minus 2 is written here this is my row 1 element all done how to find row 2 elements it's the shifting okay R2 will be shifted here, R would be shifted here. Similarly, T2 would be shifted here and T would be shifted here. The same logic is there in all the three concepts, okay? Nothing new. So 11, 4, 1, minus 2. Okay. Now, how to find R? So you have to do 11 is divided by 4, then 4 twos are 8, okay? So now the answer is 3. So this is quotient, this is remainder. The quotient is 2, right? The remainder is 3. You can find T using this expression. T is equal to T1 minus T2 into Q. So the answer comes out to be 5. This is my row 2 element. Now to get the rest elements, what you have to do? You have to do the shifting. So pause the video, do the shifting and find the elements of row 3. What is the answer? Answer is first you have to do the shifting. So 4, then 3, then minus 2, then 5. Okay, so the answer comes out to be 1, 1 and here minus 7. Okay, so these are the row 3 elements. To get the row 4 elements, do this shifting. So 3 would be here, 1 is here, 5 is here, minus 7 is here. Okay, now what is the answer? Answer is uh, when you divide 3 by 1, 3 or uh, 1, 3 is a 3, remainder is 0. Okay, so you are arriving at your final steps now. Okay, so the quotient is 3, remainder is 0, the value of t is 26. Do the shifting and this would be the final step because now you are dividing 1 with 0. Very important point, 1 divided by 0, will you get any answer? Answer is no. So this is your last step. There is no quotient, there is no r and there is no t. Correct. But the shifting part you have to write minus 7 would be here, 26 would be here. And this is your answer. The answer is GCD is 1 and this is always there when you are doing multiplicative inverse. GCD will always be 1. Okay. GCD is 1 and this value, this value is 
the value of multiplicative inverse so the multiplicative inverse of 11 in z subscript 26 is minus 7 now you uh, most of the students may ask sir the answer is negative what if the examiner asks the answer in positive form okay then what to do yes you can write the answer in positive form as well let me rub this part and i will show you okay so if you need positive multiplicative inverse then what you have to do is uh, you have to see your domain the domain is 26 okay then you have to add this value here so plus minus 7 the answer is 19 so multiplicative inverse of 11 is 19 in the positive form or you can say it is minus 7 in the negative form both are correct it uh, it depends uh, how the examiner wants the answer but uh, if you ask my opinion then i will say write both the answer minus 7 or you can write it as 19 simple so that was the concept of multiplicative inverse i hope you have understood how to find multiplicative inverse you have understood some key points key point is gcd is always one and uh, you can get answer in negative or you can get the answer in positive to get the answer in positive you have to just see your domain which is 26 and add that value okay and you will get your answer in the positive form so that's it for today तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज श्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट